Hello everyone and welcome to the Quick Tips from the College of DuPage Library. Today our Quick Tips will be uh, concerning the Zotero program for collecting source material and organizing it. The focus for today will be on Zotero for Firefox. There is a standalone Zotero program which does not require the Firefox browser but today in this tips segment we will only be discussing Zotero for Firefox. A couple of things we'll be doing very quickly today just to show you how to go about it is we'll be showing you how to collect a website and save it in Zotero, collect an article and save it in Zotero from a database, and collect a book of some sort and save it in Zotero. I will show you also quickly how to add notes to your different uh, collected items within the program itself, how to create a collection in Zotero, and also how to create a bibliography from that collection. These are the things that we'll be worrying about today. Okay. The first things I want to handle today are my assumptions. My assumptions at this point, given our time frame here, is that you have the Zotero program downloaded and in your Firefox browser, and you've created an account in Zotero. If you have not done either of these things, you need to go ahead and do that from Zotero.org. You can see the website here in, in my window currently. So go ahead, stop the recording, and make sure that you have Zotero set up in your browser. You can see it down here in the lower right corner of my browser where I can click on the word Zotero and the program will open up, and that you've created an account in Zotero. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and start the video again. Collecting items in Zotero is actually quite easy. A couple of ways that you can do it. First, let's look for a website. I found a website here. Right. Assuming that my, my potential uh, project is on solar energy, this would be a potential website for me to either save for, for looking at later or maybe look in deeper here at this point and then save the ones that I'm interested in. Right now I'll just save the whole website at this point knowing that I'll probably come back to it later or use it as a source. If you look up at the top of the Firefox browser, you can see up here that there is a little kind of web page icon. This is a Zotero icon, and you can see it says Save to Zotero. All I have to do is click on it, and notice in the lower right-hand corner, the message that says Saving to Zotero. So then when I open up Zotero, you can see that it is in fact there. Right? If we look at it here, here is my particular web page that I had just saved. On the right we see all the notes about that particular web page, when I saved it, where the URL is, and all these kinds of things. If you click on the notes tab here, you can add notes. So you can say, go to the workshop page, or something like this. These kinds of notes will help you to know which pages are the most appropriate for what you are looking for, and you can even say items give it other notes like which pages you might want to cite right so notes are always good for individual sites that you're working on so you can do that and you can see the note here in the Zotero program as well some options for Zotero is open it up to a full page right you can do that as well and bring it back down to the half page by just clicking over here to the half page margin so we have that. We have collected that particular website. Okay. The next thing we can do is if we go to the, the COD library, we can start to look for books. Right? If we go to the catalog, once we're in the catalog, we could do a keyword search and look for items on solar energy. And we find a number of number of items that we might be interested in. So if we look at this particular book, Recent Developments in Solar Energy, you can see up in the top URL box, again, another Zotero icon. This one is the icon for an actual book, and it looks like that. Click on the icon, and you can see in the lower right we're saving this particular book. If we look into Zotero, you could see the book here, and it's accompanying information tells me a couple of notes, some other information from the library record, and if we look inside it, you can see all the different information that is necessary for us to cite this work. Right? Publisher, date, 
place of publication, author, title of book. Everything is there for us to utilize. And we can always use these expanding tools to uh, collect them. Again, notes are nice to have. You can add a note, say, um, you know, look at chapter 3, page 27. So maybe that's where you want to take your citation from, this particular page. So you can have a note like that in Zotero. So that's how you collect a book from the, uh, the catalog. Now, of course, you have to go get physically the book, and we all know how to do that from the library. But nonetheless, the information we have for the book is here saved for us, and we have that. Next thing you can do is you could look for books in, say, Amazon. And I like this one, so I click on the book here. And sometimes we can see it come up here. If everybody sees up at the top, again, the book comes up even in Amazon, and I can save that book here too. So books, you're able to save titles of books from Amazon, but you still need to find those books someplace other than buying them. Of course, libraries is the first place you might want to look for that kind of thing. Okay. The next thing we want to look at, of course, is how to find books or articles in the database. So if we go to a particular database, real quick, I'll just pick Academic Search Premier at this point, how to collect an article in a database. It's actually quite simple, and as we see here, we can do a quick search. Of course, advanced search is always appropriate. And we can do this quick search for solar energy. Once we've done that, of course, we can check full text, see the articles that I can get right now, and look at the particular items that come up for us. All right. Slowly looking through them. Maybe this is interesting. We we'll take a look at this article, see what comes up here. Looks like an interesting article. Full text is available. Short, but nonetheless interesting when it comes to the subsidies concerning solar. We go up to the top in the URL box. You can see again, saving to Zotero, the icon for an article looks just like this. And click on the icon in the lower right-hand corner tells us that it is in fact saving it for us. You see that? If we open up Zotero, we can see that in fact it has saved us the article. And it has listed for us the URL that we can go back and get it. And all the article information is listed here for us so that we can, if ever we forget where we got it, we can always go back to the databases and we have title, author, and everything that we need to be able to go find that article again. So it's very simple to collect articles using the Zotero program. As you can see, websites, books, and articles are quite easy to get. Some things that might occur is if the icons don't appear. That is one thing that you should concern yourself with. If the icons don't appear in the URL box, there's always this option here, the little green plus button in Zotero where it can, you can manually add a book. You can manually add here when you say create an item from the current page. So if it is a website, which is likely to happen, a website will not have the little icon pop up. You can start creating a manual cita manual information item using this particular icon in saving web pages. I highly recommend that one as well. So for instance, if we went back to the internet and looked at the different items that come up, we could see, okay, let's see what else exists when it comes to solar information. All right. Go to the American Solar Energy Society and see whether or not this particular web page generates a icon up in the URL box. Sometimes they don't. And websites is more often than not. So if it doesn't generate an icon as you can see here, we're going to open up Zotero and tell it using this one to create a new item from the current page and that's in fact what it'll do and you can see here it's created this new item with a snapshot of it 
and it's listed as much information as it can glean from the metadata in the website and you can add things to it as you see fit is there an author to it all these kinds of things but nonetheless it has been saved using this button so that is the other thing that you can do when adding items manually the next thing we want to do is start to create a collection so once you have sources now you want to create a collection because the col from the collection we'll be able to create a bibliography rapidly so the first things you want to do is over on the left side of Zotero go ahead and click on my library right click on it and say new collection the new collect the box will come up and you can call it whatever you want so this is for my solar paper I say OK, and then on the left you can see the solar paper folder has presented itself. Once we go back to the library, we can collect, holding down the control CTRL button, we can collect more than one item that we want to utilize that we've been using for our papers, things we've been citing, all these kinds of things you want to start to collect. Right? So you've used all these items in your paper. Once you've right clicked, or clicked on each one of them holding down control you can drag them over to the solar folder and that's it click on the solar folder and you can see all of those items that were in my library and they're still in my library are now organized into the solar paper folder you can see them all here the next thing you want to do after you've done this is go ahead and right click on the collection itself once I right clicked on the collection you can see the option create bibliography from collection this is what you're looking for so right click on the collection then left click on create bibliography from collection and the option will ask which style do you want to put it in in this particular example I use the modern language association but APA also exists in here as well always save it to an RTF file that was always the the obvious choice and click OK. Once you've done that it's going to ask you where you want to save it and what name you want to give it and go ahead and do that and click Save. And then you can go ahead and see the paper itself. Go ahead and go to the location and this is the bibliography it has produced for me. And as you can see it alphabetizes all the items for us and puts it in for the most part the appropriate format given that we are using the Modern Language Association or MLA format and you can see it how well it does it in one shot so what you have to do at this point is of course put the item up at the top work cited and then you need to go through the different citations and make sure they are in fact in the appropriate style from your instructor's parameters. These aren't always absolutely correct, but as you can see, these are very, very close to the correct format in MLA. In fact, some of them are, in fact, correct. And that's how you do a bibliography using Zotero. It's that fast. There's no more tabbing over, making sure you got all your periods and commas. You can generate one straight out of the collection located here in your Zotero program. And that concludes my quick tips for using the Zotero program to collect sources and to produce a quick bibliography from those sources. If you have any other questions for me or my colleagues at the College of DuPage Library, please don't hesitate to ask us. My contact information is thus. Have a good day, everyone.